uh, quick look at the uh, the difference between the Hustler 5 BTV, uh, just an LNR Precision uh, quad band uh, NFED. Uh, NFED's probably up around about, I don't know, let's, let's call it about 30 feet, give or take, not quite. Uh, and the vertical is ground mounted. Uh, have a look, plenty of other videos there that'll show you each of those going up. But I uh, just wanted to show you the difference with some um, US stations coming in. Um, some DX starting to pop up. It is around about midnight, and so this happens quite often. And uh, so I just want to show you the difference in, in how the vertical can come into its own when we start talking about DX and, and long distance contacts. So uh, here we go. Here's some quick examples for you. So I just wanted to basically show you um, how the vertical is coming into its own on the uh, on what we call DX. I think this guy's in the US there somewhere. I don't know exactly, but you'll see on the uh, 7100, which we're looking at now, uh, it's coming up as a anywhere between an 8 and a 9. And we go over to the uh, NFED. 5 and 6, 5 and 7, I guess. Uh, so I'll turn that. Certainly no issues hearing him. Uh, and this is obviously back to the VK. Um, he's you know, 8 and 9. Um, and very similar. Uh, there is a bit of QSB. But because I can see both of those meters at once, I can see that he's uh, pretty much identical. I think there are some other DX stations on, so I'm just going to grab some samples for you so you can have a look and uh, give you something to compare it to. If you mind that um, VK4, um, where, from where I am, VK2, uh, and, and from, well, about mid VK2, um, is still sort of a minimum 800 kilometres away. Um, so, so quite possibly if you know we're in Europe or somewhere like that, we're definitely um, or in the UK. We'll be talking a different country, uh, so uh, you know it may may be considered DX, um, but for here, <laughs> um, still in the same still in the same country, uh, that's still a fair distance away. Now I did just make contact with Mark a little bit earlier um, on the same frequency. Uh, he's located in Cali, and uh, I think it was something like 12,000 kilometres, um, running 100 watts. And, uh, he gave us a five and seven report. I'll just see if we can show you the difference here on the. This is the NFED we're looking at at the moment. So he's anywhere from a 5.6, um, yeah, peaking at 5.7 I suppose, um, over here on the vertical. And so we get him at a 5.9, uh, and every now and then he's actually peaking up to about 5 and 20. So there you go. So Mark did make a point of saying earlier when I was speaking to him that he was after some African stations. So um, seems like they're starting to come through a little bit for him now. And 
we can't really hear them. Uh, it's night time here, as you can see. It's uh, about 10 to midnight. And back on the end fed. Can't really make anything out there. We could play with filters and all that sort of stuff, but uh, there you go. Anyway, just want to give you a quick example of the difference between a, a vertical uh, when it comes to DX or sort of long distance contacts. Um, the difference it can make. Uh, I think I've probably got a, a total of about eight radials. Uh, it's just a random length, um, whatever wire I had available uh, on on the bottom of the vertical. Uh, so definitely, when it comes to uh, you know, like I said, long distance contacts, certainly see slight improvements there, and it certainly comes into its own. Anything domestic uh, or relatively local, uh, I definitely always see the the end fed. Uh, you know, has a few S points over the top of the vertical, uh, but certainly once I get outside of Australia, with possibly the exception of uh, ZL New Zealand, uh, the the uh, the vertical seems to uh, pick up a few S points. Um, both of them are probably equally as readable uh, when I'm listening to a station, uh, but as far as the uh, the S meter reading, there is a, a few S points in it, but uh, doesn't make that much difference. Anyway, that's it guys, real simple, uh, not much to it, uh, just wanted to show you a couple of quick examples, and uh, so you can see for yourself, cheers and 7-3. Uh,